Welcome to my channel. Today I will be unboxing and trying Aero Puffing System. This is not a new brand, it's been there for a while and honestly I tried this technique already but not with this brand. They specialize in this design that you make with a special sponge and stencils. So first let's check out what's in this mint envelope. So we have metallic palette here. I think it can be used for mixing colors, for blending colors and so on. And also a set of stencils. And there are different kinds like square, uh, a bow, stars, hearts, leaves. Oh, and here's another one for French style design, circles, triangles. Well, I think it's okay for the beginning. And I also noticed that these stencils, they are like plastic, so they're definitely multiple use, not just for ones. Also, they have this um, brush itself with the 12 different sponges. So one sponge is round and another one is more pointy. So I think it's for different looks. This one is more for like ombre and this one for more detailed blending and I think it's pretty good they have 12 of them I mean you are not going to use the same one for black and white there are 12 colors here so this is the special uh, LED color gel paste and personally I love when the gel paint or gel paste comes in a tube not in the jar because it's much easier to transport them it's much easier to apply but you cannot apply more than you need because that will be a waste. And they said that only black and white is the one you will need additionally and all the colors they will last for a very long time because you don't need to use a lot. And also they have something you will definitely need for this technique. It's cuticle defender to protect your cuticle while you're doing this design. No cleanse matte LED top coat and glossy top coat which is no cleanse as well. So Let's try this kit. My canvas for today will be this acrylic nail and first we need to apply background which will be black gel polish by Atica. Honestly, when I first thought and saw the set of stencils that is in the kit, I was like, mm, that's probably not enough to do many cool designs. But then I checked Aeropoofing Instagram and got this idea from there which is actually quite easy and you only need to have a circle stencil for it. So I apply two coats of black gel polish, make sure it covers the entire surface, everything like we usually do, and fully cure it in LED for one minute. And then we need to apply matte top coat. This is according to the instructions of the kit, you always need to apply it before you do the design. I guess we could also buff it, but I think that will take us longer. So I like this method, just applying no cleanse matte top coat. Fully cure it and now we need to apply stencils. So in this original design they had a special stencils with the multiple circles on it. Unfortunately I have only this one with the three different sizes of the circles, so I apply one and dab, dab, dab with the white paint, so one side should be left dark and then I remove the stencil. Then I will apply another circle. As you can see, this circle is pretty far from the first one, so I can do it right away, but if you're worried that you might spoil or touch the previous design, you can also freeze cure it for about 10 seconds. And also now I am showing you just one nail, but when we usually work with all 10 nails on a client, you need just to do one hand and while one is curing, you work on the other. So it's pretty easy. So do not fill the whole stencil, the full circle with white. Always leave one side a little bit darker. So we will have this beautiful ombre look and later we can make them look as bubbles. Then I continue. My goal is to get multiple bubbles on the surface and they also can touch, intersect with each other and they need to be of a different sizes. Small, large and medium.
When removing stencil, be careful, you see this part of the glue, so accidentally I had couple spots left out and it's extremely hard to fix them. Fully cure for one minute and then I will be using four colors and I apply them on the palette. They will be yellow, mint, red and blue. Then I take the sponge and work with the first color. So we just dab, dab, dab it to the side. And once you can see that the color is thin enough, there are no large particles of the paint, then we can apply it right on the nail. Let's start with the yellow. So few bubbles, I'd say few parts of the bubbles will be yellow. What I learned by doing this design, it's a lot like actual airbrushing. So you like apply the paint and you need to wait a little bit, do not hurry, do not try to make it just with one shot. Next will be mint, do not forget to blend it as well. And once you see that the color looks nice, let's apply it as well. When I pick a new color, I always use another side of the sponge because I don't want them to mix. So you can also use a new sponge every time, but there's no real need at it, because every time you just use a one side and it's pretty big. So one is enough for all four colors. Next one will be pink, so I also blend it out, make sure that the color is intense enough, and apply. So every time you apply the color, it should be very, very thin. And if you do everything properly, you can see that you only need a tiny amount of this product for the design, meaning all the colors that you get, you will use them for a long time. Only the white and black usually finishes faster. Last one will be dark blue. When it was not blended, it looked completely different. And then apply it. You can also apply it a little bit on top of the yellow to get them mixed and get a new green color. So we got a couple new shades such as purple because of the colors mixing and I didn't cure any of the color but if you want to have colors without blending you can do it and only now I fully cure it for one minute and I will be sealing it with a glossy top coat. So when you apply colors on the bubbles you do not need to worry that you will touch the background because if a little bit of yellow or red will get on the black, you cannot really see it. So you just apply them on top of the bubbles and here's what we will get. A beautiful 3D looking colorful bubbles. Fully cure for one minute and here we go. Rainbow bubbles design. Let me know guys what do you think about this design. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here, do not forget to subscribe as new tutorials will be coming up every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.